The weather is not only impacting travel and energy across the state, it's also impacting the state's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Channel 7's Paris Kane breaks down the effect it's had on testing and vaccinations this past week. Beth, both testing and vaccinations are down this week, and it's all because of this stuff right here, limiting people's ability to travel. The temperature is down here in Arkansas, and with it, COVID-19 vaccinations. The roads are slick. There's ice and snow across the entire state. John Vinson with the Arkansas Pharmacist Association says they're seeing shipment delays in both vaccines. The state received about 82,050 more doses this week since last Thursday and vaccinated a little over 51,650 Arkansans. We're not one of the states that shut it down completely. We've been able to service several thousand patients this week. Some pharmacies had to cancel or close early, while others vaccinated only those who were able to safely get there. Vincent says he's proud of the effort. They've scraped off their cars and and brave the weather to get into work to make sure that their patients are served. Vincent doesn't think it'll slow down our vaccine rollout long term and says the pharmacies will be doubling up next week. But I believe that when this weather warms up to the 60s next week, we'll get uh, caught up in the next week and a half. Dr. Jennifer Dillahay with the Arkansas Department of Health agrees, and she's asking Arkansans to be flexible. Stay focused, get that vaccine uh, when it's your time, and uh, just stay on it. The weather also caused a lag in coronavirus cases, but Dr. Dillahay says that's because not as many people have been able to be tested. We know that with the people staying home and not mixing with people outside of their household, there's bound to be a decrease in transmission. Compared to last Thursday, the state's active caseload is almost cut in half, with around 6,200 less cases this week. Dr. Dillahay is anticipating a surge in both testing and cases come next week. But overall, she's optimistic we'll continue on a downward trend. I strongly encourage people to do anything within their power to reduce the spread. The pharmacy should be calling those who missed their appointments last week, but if you don't hear from them, feel free to give them a call and reschedule. Beth? All right, Paris Kane for us tonight. Paris, thank you. The state is expecting a big increase in the allocation of vaccines next week. Both Walmart and an organization of independent pharmacists should start receiving around 20,000 doses per week combined, and that's on top of the state's allocation. Well, just 253 new cases of COVID-19 reported today by the Department of Health. Of those cases, 100